Neha Gupta is a two-time international best-selling author, top 100 teen expert around the world, TEDx speaker, and serial entrepreneur, creating the Shortcuts Empire on helping students get into their dream school. Over the last 12 years, she has built elite private tutors college shortcuts, medical shortcuts, law school shortcuts, grad school shortcuts, and MBA shortcuts. With the mission to serve families and make parents' lives easier every day, while 95% of families get into their dream school. She has helped tens of thousands of students get into their dream school and won't stop until every child gets that acceptance letter. She has built a school in Africa, been endorsed by Dr. Shafali Sabari, the world leading parenting expert by Oprah, and families around the world interview to work with one of their companies for limited spots. She has been featured on ABC as an expert for teenagers, NBC, CBS, The Washington Post, Parents Magazine, and even Coined, the female that helps students get six figures in scholarships, according to Student Loan Hero. Welcome to her latest creation, Dream School TV, where she brings in the best experts and guests on admissions and gives the latest trends and tips. Take it away. Hi, this is Neha Gupta and I'm so excited because on this episode of Dream School TV, we've got Jennifer from London. Now many of you guys don't know this, but I love London as a city. So Jennifer, super excited to hear from you. Here's the question. How do you build a list of schools? Now, Jennifer's asking a great question because the thing about it is so many people build a school list and they do it all wrong. Let me tell you what I mean by that. See, many people will build a list and they'll say, oh, I want to apply to all the competitive schools. And they'll build a list with like 20 of them and then they'll forget that they do need to look at schools that are possibly target or safety. There's three buckets that you want to make sure that college list is focusing on. First one is reach schools. This is the one that most kids focus on. And the problem with most teenagers is that they have something called tunnel vision, like this. And they're like, I just wanna go to this school. And sometimes their reasoning is really bad. Like, I wanna go to Stanford because my boyfriend goes there. Sometimes I wanna tell them, he probably won't be your boyfriend like in a few years. But that kinda of crushes kids, so I don't do that. The truth of the matter is, when you wanna do the reach school, you've gotta make sure that you have a well-balanced list. So you wanna have maybe, let's say, three to six reach schools, depending on how many applications you wanna go through. Then you've got the target schools. Now target means that you have the ability to get into these schools, as in, they are literally looking for students like your child that are really, what I say, within the target of what they're looking for. And then after that, you wanna have safety schools. Safety schools are schools that are probably gonna throw some money at your kid because your kid is like above and beyond what they typically get at their school. I'll tell you a great example. One of my safety schools I applied to, I'm not gonna name the name because I don't think I'm allowed to, but I got upwards of $40,000 a year in scholarship, merit-based, by the way, not financial aid, merit-based, just because my resume, essays, and application were so clear that I was a rock star. And it was kind of tough not to be like, I'll take that. <laughs> I mean, or just give it to me in a normal check form. Anyways, all I'm saying is that the safety schools tend to be the ones that you can easily get into. So Jennifer, I know that's kind of a simplified version, but you want to make sure you have these types of things. The second thing I want to talk about are maybe the factors to look into when building a college list. See, most teenagers, their viewpoint is, oh, this, one, this one's good because it's the best one. Okay, and name brand isn't everything. Number two, oh, all my friends say it's really fun, which means they're partying too hard. Number three, my boyfriend goes here, which they're probably not gonna end up together, and so on and so forth. These reasons are not worth investing $100,000 or more into a program. Sorry. These are the types of things you wanna look at. Location, weather, um, size of school. Sometimes people thrive in smaller environments versus large. I'll tell you, for me, Small environments work best for me. Um, and then you look at all these other factors, like what are the types of programs? I've had students say things like, I wanna go to this school, but they don't have a program for what I actually need, but the name sounds great. Well, that's pretty bad because if you graduate and you don't actually get a degree in what you're actually wanting, you're not gonna get jobs in the field that you want. So it's very, very important when you're building the college list, Jennifer, because we wanna make sure not only is it well balanced, it's customized based on what you need. So I hope that answers your question. I know it's quite detailed of an answer, but 
I wanted to make sure you understand that the college list is the first step in the application process. And this, by the way, pertains to if you're applying to business school, law school, med school, grad school, any type of admissions program, your list is so, so important. Okay, so we've got a question from Ashley, mom of four from North Carolina. Ashley's asking us, Neha, can you please tell us why the essay is so important? I've heard that a lot of these admissions officers don't read it. Is that true or not? So Ashley, I love this question because I hear this all the time from parents. They question if an admissions officer is actually reading any of these essays. But let me make this very clear. The admissions readers are absolutely reading the essays. I was talking to one a few months ago and they told me, Neha, the essays are the best part of the application. I've heard another one tell me um, at a top university, they said the essay is what makes or breaks the application. And one from my alma mater, I was talking to one of the head of admissions at Rice University and he had told me, you know, Neha, let's get real. If we weren't looking at the essay, we could literally build an algorithm that based on numbers and data points would accept a very diverse freshman class just based on GPA, SAT or ACT score, location, type of private or public school they went to, and so forth. So the truth is, they are absolutely reading those essays. And actually, I know, you know that might be challenging because maybe it'd be easier if you didn't have to work so hard on the essay, but I will tell you that I would say about 80 to 90% of students that work with us, they literally get handwritten notes on their admissions letter. And that, by the way, is the most proudest thing that I have to say is that they get these notes from the admissions directors that will say, wow, it is very clear you're interested in going here. We love the way you've described your passion or wow, that hardship was really tough. Thank you for being so vulnerable and real. And the last line we always read is we would be so honored to have you at our university. So to me, the essay is my favorite part, just like it is for every admissions reader. They can't wait to read the essays. So make sure you get the right level of information into your essay, plus heart, love, soul, and passion. Because we all know when you do that, the words pop off the paper and it's unbelievable. I hope this answers your question. And if you need any help with your essays, I'm your girl. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dream School TV. My goal is to raise the future. So I'm so excited that you guys have been here. Loved our questions from Jennifer and Ashley. And if you want to go ahead, make sure to comment below, ask questions. Let me know what you think. I read every single comment, just so you know. And make sure you share it with your friends, email it, text it, get it out there because the goal is to make sure your child gets into the school of their dreams. Thanks so much. Bye.